Okay, as promised, there's a bunch of die cast that's been sitting in storage since about 2008. Between 2008 and 2013 is when most of these boxes and things were put away. Um, all this is full of die cast, so let's crack them open. Some of these are loose, some are still. There's a barn star. Um, <clears throat> some are still in packaging. And now we'll crack those open in future videos. But here's some loose stuff. Um, M2. Clearly auto authentics, I think they call this this line. It's pretty awesome. I actually customized some of these. Um, I once sold in 68, um, excuse me, 1964 Super 88 Oldsmobile. And so I customized this car to look like that. Um, plaid interior. Plaid blue interior. Um, anyway, so like I said, some of these have been customized. And they're not exactly the way they came. I believe I painted a couple of details on this one. I'm thinking most of what you see that's blue was not. Um, except for, of course, the clear blue body back here. Alright, so let's see what we've got. Alright, here's a 55 Pontiac. That one I didn't think I did much to. I think that one came the way you see it. Could be wrong. It's been a while. It's been a few years. This thing's awesome, though. Especially being a Pontiac with their history where they had that World Trade Fair 1940 Pontiac that was clear. That's part of the reason why I got excited about this series. It's, it's sort of... It's neat. It's kind of based on concept cars of the past. Here we have a... I think, is it Maisto, I believe? Um, Studebaker hauler. Yep. Fl COE flatbed, they're calling it. Cab over engine flatbed. Um, three axle. I believe that this actually rolls back. Yes, that's kind of cool. And again, it is somewhat realistic. It's kind of cool. I'm going to get the Duesenberg on the back over here. No, uh... No top on the Duesenberg. It's probably long gone. But it does have white walls. That's nice. And then we also... Oh, you know what? I think this is what originally came on the back of this thing. This might have been what came on here. Or it's just a coincidence that there's also a Maisto. Uh, 29 Ford. Hot rod in here. It's actually kind of cool. And last, a Studebaker Avanti. Inspector Flame Gold, Yellow, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is one of those Larry Garage cars, I believe. Larry Woods Garage. Something like that. That's 1963 Avanti. Not the Avanti 2, the original. Round headlights. Of course, the white interior is awesome. Alright, let's keep going. There's a lot of stuff in these boxes. Alright, next. Let's crack open another one of these cigar boxes. Oh, got a bunch of loose cards over here. Matchbox, Hot Wheels. Oh, alright, so. We got first Mitsubishi Eclipse for Matchbox. I forget the name of this concept, but it was a Chevy Crew Cab truck. Cheyenne, of course. Chevrolet Cheyenne concept. It's kind of cool. Almost looked like a unibody pickup with side access to the bed. One of the Alfa Romeo Bat cars. I forget which one this was. So many of them. Uh, nine, apparently. Bat nine. These were cool. Chrysler 300C. One of the early releases. And this was still a fairly new car. Everybody was excited about being able to get a car with a Hemi. 
Chrysler originally said they would only put them in the Dodge Rams, not in cars. Tempo is a little off, but it could be worse. Right, so what else? Is the Lotus Sport Elise. Love this casting. I've got, I think I've got this in most of the colors they came in. I like that one a lot. Let's see here. Oh, this is one of those cheapy Maisto uh, Miras. No eyelashes, unfortunately. It's kind of cool for what it is. The new ID car is the sort of gold standard. Hot Wheels ID car is beautiful. As far as inexpensive diecast goes. This is neat. Anglia. Weird looking little thing. Those weird British cars. Not much bigger than a Mini. Hey, 69 GTO. Judge Stripes. Hell yeah. I don't even remember this version of, uh, was it Cool Delivery? Cool one. It's kind of neat with the tilt-out windshields. Tilt to open. Ice cream cool one. It's neat. Got a few versions of this casting. This might be the first one that came out. C6 Corvette. Put this one next to the black treasure hunt with gold wheels. Make for good contrast. Very 8. A V8 powered Corvair. I love this casting. I love anything like this. It's a it's a car that actually existed. There were people who stuffed V8s into Corvairs, of course, in many different forms and using transaxles, using all kinds of wacky stuff. Corvair is a great car to hot rod. I would keep it stock if I ever got one though. All right, Cockney Cab. Black version, which is obviously the one you want. They, they're all black, real wheels. This is meant to be a hot rod, but I still think some of the newer recolors of this casting are really lame and stupid. I almost never buy them. But here's a black one, as it should be. Lotus Project M250. This 41 Willys is a great casting. Biz Bobo? Oh, oh, whatever. Anyway, it's a cool car. It does not tilt open like the old ones used to. However... Hold on a sec. I've had this thing for probably 10 years. Just now. Clicking open and fixing the uh, wheelie bars on this. Pretty awesome. Look, look at this. It's actually fairly cool. The way they use that. The little split rear window. For eyeballs on this skull clown psychotic satan worshipping thing it's funny shelby cobra one of the last ones where it still had an opening hood shorty card too by the way i don't know where these short cards came from this is always a cool casting again it's a fantasy card that i didn't hate it's kind of neat I forget what it was called Toe, toe jam. So it is. Yep, toe jam. It's always nice to find a Porsche that I forgot I had. This thing's pretty awesome. GT3, no Porsche 911 Turbo. One to 58 scale. This would be a 996. Not the best. Not the best series of Porsche, the least loved in some ways, but still pretty awesome. I love the turbo graphics. Now this is cool. I forgot I had this. Spectra Flame Yellow Um Go Kart. I actually really like the Go Kart casting. Always been a big fan. From when it was released, when I was I don't know, 
19 or 20 years old back then. Since we're on the topic of this go-kart with the Hot Wheels Classics, here's a bunch of classics that I found amongst other boxes. So we have a 63 Corvette. All these are getting opened, probably. Or at least most of them. 62 Chevy Bubble Top. Look at the paint on that. It's beautiful. Spectra Flame Red. Boss Haas Motorcycle, but it's not. It's a trike. A Boss Haas trike. With a 57 Chevy Rear End. These are very popular in Phoenix. Screaming Chicken, or that's actually a Phoenix. Hot Bird. Love these Trans Am Firebirds. Love this casting. I actually like this casting better than the more updated, newer one. Sometimes they update a casting and you're happy that they get the proportions right, like 59 Cadillacs, but... This casting is better than the new one. Love it. We got two more Hot Wheels classics. Plymouth Hemikuda. And Barracuda Funny Car. So this would basically be um, Snake or Mongoose? Snake, right? I believe Snake was the Barracuda. Pretty awesome, and this one does still open up. This is the traditional casting where the body tilts open. You can kind of tell, even in the packaging. This will be another video. I'm going to open up all of these, along with a lot of other exciting vintage Hot Wheels. All right, let's keep going. Citroen DS. Citroen, I don't know how you pronounce it. Crazy French car. Front wheel drive. Most of us know the story with this thing. Kind of a neat car, honestly. That's what I think of when I think of French cars. Quintessential French cars, Citroen DS. Alright, what do we got? Not one, but two Cadillac hearses in pearl white from Matchbox. The second one. Got another square body truck. Look at that. Pretty awesome. 75 Chevy Stepside. Tempos are a little crooked, but eh, it could be worse. 69 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. The hard top. I love the fact that all the windows are down. Matchbox did a nice job with that. This is some weird off-brand Road Champs. That's who it was. Uh, it's the 69 Camaro back when very few people were making decent 69 Camaros. This, this is a butchered casting. With, I mean, it's actually terrible in some ways. But the wheel wells, other things. These are significant and sort of cool. So you had a key that came with it, which is basically just a little wrench. And you would be able to adjust the suspension up and down with that key from... A fairly normal looking ride height to slammed. That's kind of cool. And we have a charger from Matchbox. Got a couple of nicks on it. Holy cow, we're 14 minutes into this video. We barely made a dent in these boxes. Alright, so let's speed this up a little bit. Got some fancy cars in here. One of the early variations of Cloak and Dagger. V16 Cadillac showing a good amount of wear and tear. Cut out the rear windows for obvious reasons. Except clearly acted up a bit. within a box. This is something really cool, I'm not sure. Sixty-nine Corvette. 
Again, showing a good amount of wear and tear. My daughter's probably played with this at one point. And a short card, Chrome, for Shelby GTR1 concept. So this is the chart, uh, the Shelby Cobra Daytona reboot they were going to do. Just pretty awesome, actually, to be honest. It, I really like this car. I thought it should have got put in production. Not a Ford guy, but it would have been a neat car. Ted's box. Another card in there. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is exciting. These are hard to find. Hate the wheels, hate the stands, but... My buddy Tim lowered one of these for me beautifully with matchbox wheels, the appropriate matchbox wheels, which worked out great. It's a good looking car though. I think some of these might be from yard sales, They're showing a good amount of wear and tear. Uh, this is exciting. My buddy Dave has one of these. I recently told him I didn't think I did, but here it is. So that's pretty cool. They recently redid this one as a mystery car. A mystery model, but I don't believe that one tilts open. Now we also have a charger. Love this casting. We really should do a 68. Some of these 69s and 70s, but... Still pretty awesome. Over Daytona, Chaparral, T-Bird, Hot Bird, which is a Firebird, um, Jaguar, um, D-Type, one of those Datsuns. This guy needs a windshield, but, oh man, it's pretty, pretty mangled. But, still tilts open. Man, it's a hot mess. I don't know what the heck happened to it. Again, this is definitely like a yard sale purchase type of scenario. If the A-pillars weren't broken, I'd go out and get another one. It's kind of a lost cause at this point. I guess somebody would restore it. Before we move on to the next box, I forgot to show you guys this. Um, this is another example of Hot Wheels being really cool back in the day. So you push this tab to unlock, and the whole body, the whole body separates and comes apart. It sort of looks like a Land Speed Racer, Bonneville Salt Flats record Salt Flats um, record car. But if you notice that exhaust all come together right in the middle of this gigantic manifold for this it's supposed to be a v16 i guess and go into two twin turbos that then goes into like a top mounted supercharger i mean it's pretty it's pretty crazy but it's, it's cool all right next this is a fairly new box what is this doing here i just opened this the other day Oh, okay, I shoved this in here when we were doing the yard sale. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> totally forgot I found this super treasure hunt at Market Basket back, I don't know, again, 10 years ago? How, how long is, how old is this thing? 2007, so it probably came out in 2008. Would it have even been a super treasure hunt at that, po that point? It, it, it was just a treasure hunt. But anyway, pretty awesome. How cool was that? Real Riders. This is getting open, too. Definitely. And another Cadillac hearse. What else do we have in here? <laughs> oh, my God. Awesome. Veyron. I already found one loose. Here's one on the card. 
Maybe I'll throw this up on eBay. Probably not. Oh man, there's more of those classics in here. Uh, a little disappointing that it's a motorcycle, but it's still pretty awesome. And that's getting put with the pile. What else do we got? Oh, maybe it's just cards. Yeah, there's some good, really good stuff in here. Maestro, I believe, right? Yeah. Caprice, that's kind of cool. paint job on this thing. It's aged poorly. Kind of a goofy fantasy car. Haywood Police. Okay then. The light bars. Not. Well. It is what it is. Another Crown Victoria. This is cool. Oh man, this is cool. This is awesome. I think this one might have been one of the early mystery models in the pillow packs. Maybe. Might not be remembering that right. Ooh, look at that. Green goil bat, whatever that is. Perfect timing that I opened this box up in 2020. Although the coronavirus did not come from bats. Come on now. Scion XB. I have one of these in blue. Same deal. It's clear. Translucent blue. It's kind of cool. Um, this is a Matchbox TVR Tuscan, I believe. Yep, TVR Tuscan S. Whatever the S stands for. These things are crazy. Really, really crazy. Like wild. Really wacky cars. Early fish, fished and chipped. Return of the Wastelanders. Interesting. Kind of a neat, chop-looking, early 50s car. That's supposed to be British. Another Austin Martin, pearly yellow. There's a carded one somewhere in a pile in the closet that I found last weekend as well. This is cool. I forgot about this thing. I love these wheels. It's a 350Z. Might have to steal these wheels for something else wacky. I don't know. Probably not. Be ashamed to drill this thing apart. I have this one in blue with orange wheels as well. What else do we have? Ooh, Pontiac Solstice Coupe. Forgot Matchbox even made that. It's pretty awesome. Rest in peace, Pontiac. Kind of a neat Hot Wheels as far as fantasy cars go. Sort of cool. MST Suzuka. I mean, it's a fantasy car, right? Am I missing something? I don't know. One of the miniature chopped dairy deliveries. Ooh. Awesome. That's neat. Riviera. Cadillac 16 concept.
And yet another box. Some weird fantasy car in here. Buzz off. Weird. There's some old air cards in here. Actually, that one's brand new from the other day. Again, I tossed some stuff in these from the yard sale. Most of these are old, though. Nice. Look at this Corvette. Beautiful. Another GT40. O5 Mustang concept. Or O4, whatever year it was. Lightning. <laughs> One of those tuned Hummers. It's supposed to be an H3, right? Yep. Tractor. Oh, this is neat. I forget what this thing was called. It was a Jeep concept and it had two Hemis in it. Hurricane. Jeep Hurricane. Two supercharged Hemis. Years before the Hellcat. Years before any of that craziness. <laughs> That's absurd. But also pretty awesome. 2004. Wow. It's a long time ago. They've re-released this since. I think it was black and red. Last time they recolored it and re-released it. What else do we have in here? 959. Oh, hey. Hi. Ferrari 512M or LM 512M The opening rear, you can see the flat 12 shoved in there How cool was that? Another C6 Corvette Easter exclusive. One of those pretend GT40 style fantasy cars. That's neat. Porsche 959. Probably cracked this open. Look how yellowed it is. What happened? It's been sitting in this car box, not in direct sunlight. 1998. Well, maybe it did hang out in direct sunlight before I got it. Alright, so there's uh, some kind of a Lightning McQueen toy in here. Clearly from one of my daughters. Alright, moving right along. These also have been in storage forever. I actually added this Chevy sticker. I used to work at a vinyl shop. You can see that that's something I added to this. These things are terribly dusty. They really need to be... I'm going to open these up soon. There's no point in having these things in the packages anymore. They are so dusty. Plus, they take up a lot of room, a lot of space. The Camaro's even, the 56 Chevy's cool, the Camaro's probably even cooler. Aaron Automotive. It's an RS, I wish it wasn't, but it's still pretty awesome. Forward opening hood. It's interesting. Square body majorette. Must have popped into Toys R Us at some point. Where do you even get these anymore? You know, at that point, even at that point, 10 years ago. I don't see a date on here. Another version of the V16 Cadillac. Mercedes Benz Actros. Seven Chevy with the opening hood and fuel injection. It's kind of neat. Some other fun stuff. Cadillac CN concept. I could say predecessor in some ways. 
to the C8 Corvette. One of those ridiculously tuned twin mills, another Superbird, police helicopter, Mercedes E-Class station wagon, which is pretty cool for Matchbox, E430. out and two machines limos and this Two machines, 58 Plymouth, or 57 Plymouth. Or muscle machines, excuse me. The predecessor to M2 machines. Basically, uh, very similar to the Ground Pounders version of M2s. Uh, what else do we got in here? Magnum PI. A lot of other cool stuff in here. I'm gonna save this box for a video where I actually open up a lot more. Um, this video is running so long already. So let's, um, let's save this one for next time. We'll go through it in detail next time. This is a book my buddy Duffy got me years ago. We became friends. It's pretty awesome. about automotive ornaments. Look at that. Ken Stacy. All right. Here's another Hot Wheels classic. be another video another time.